Welcome back to Dark Corner's Advent Calendar 2018. Although our festive countdown through James Bond film posters hasn't been in any particular order, we have been saving the best, in our opinion, for last. And here's one that very nearly made the top spot, even though it's one of the least liked of all Bond films. Timothy Dalton's reinvention of the character as younger, more virile and less comical was a good idea that would work better for other actors. But one thing about The Living Daylights that worked better than anyone could have expected was the poster. How is it possible that in all those years no one thought to use the opening iris? How is it possible we had decades of static bonds when we could have had this life, active figure? This seems like the definitive Bond poster, and yet it's the only one to use this image, and it does use it. The typical maelstrom of girls and guns, fire and fury, is drawn into a whirlpool with Bond at its centre, not in the eye, but breaking out of it. Daniel Craig would use a similar, though starker, image for Skyfall, but this is more effective at harnessing the whole Bond ethos. It's also worth noting that this would be the last hurrah of the painted Bond poster. From here on in, it would be photoshopped, airbrushed and somewhat soulless. But what a way to go out. Forget the film it's attached to, everyone else did. There's a good case to be made that this is the best Bond poster, the one that best encapsulates the franchise and catches the essence of Bond and restores that essence after the excesses of some of the later Moore films. It's the definitive Bond poster and yet manages to be that with a new idea. Something everyone probably thought they must have done that before. But if this is Bond on a one sheet, how come we're not finishing with it? Thanks for watching. Dark Corners Advent Calendar 2018 will return tomorrow. What other cult movie posters encapsulate not just the film, but their whole franchise? Let us know in the comments below.